Good afternoon. Today is Friday. It's July the 14th. The time right now in Singapore is three minutes past one in the afternoon. Now let's do a bit of a recap as to what happened on financial markets overnight. We have the uh, US equity markets continue to wanting to go higher and uh, overnight in the Dow itself, we do not have a new high and uh, high so far, it is still controlled to this week high at 34,586.94, which is marginally lower than the high that we saw last month uh, at, uh, at 34,588.68. I have the opinion that the market may have already picked for now, uh, at least in the near term. So likely uh, we are going to see lower prices in equity markets in the States going forward. And I do see this as a technical pullback for now. So if we do get a pullback, ideally, we want to see prices coming back to test the 33,400 to 33,600 range before you decide what you want to do. Okay. Uh, of course, there is always a possibility we may see higher prices going forward because the sentiment in the marketplace right now is that the Federal Reserve may have already hit its terminal rate uh, because the last CPI numbers that we saw this week uh, suggest that uh, it is obviously coming down and we can see the headline num uh, CPI numbers uh, is coming down to 3%. So 3% is very, very good. So does the Federal Reserve still have any more incentive to continue to hide rates? Market participants think do not. Okay, they do not think that they are the Federal Reserve will still be hiking any more interest rates beyond the two that they have already mentioned for the rest of this year. So the market sentiment is definitely in favor of higher prices if the low interest rate is going to be the incentive for risky assets to go higher. So do watch out for this development on the interest rate front here. But technically, I do believe we are due for a corrective pullback. Over in the S&P 500, we see that the S&P continue to charge higher at 4,517.38 overnight. And uh, this is definitely a divergent from what we are seeing in the, S, uh, in the Dow Jones itself. So the target price for this move actually has been hit overnight. My target range is all the while been 4,512 to 4,537.3 and overnight higher 4,517.4 is already technically speaking uh, within the bracket of price which make the market very vulnerable to uh, profit taking. If we do see a profit taking, uh, most likely the market will go back down to this blue horizontal line here at 4,328.8 here. So do watch out for any kind of uh, a sign that the market may want to pull back okay over in the national itself we also saw a marginal high for the year itself at 15,602.7 overnight and uh, this is creeping very near to my uh, uh, ideal price for this market to pick out at 16,266 there about so we still have a bit of a distance between where we are last night and where the market may actually go up to according to my target here so dear still uh, we're going to look out for potential sign of a profit taking and uh, if we do see uh, some kind of profit taking most likely the market will test first will be 14,900 levels so do watch out for this blue horizontal line indicated on the chart here and over in Asia we can see that the uh, Nikkei has basically found its footing after trading to a low last week at 31,791.7 and this morning we see a uh, uh, rally to 32,780 before pulling back to 32,436 as we are speaking right now. So basically the uh, area in which I think the buyer may actually emerge actually came in marginally lower than expected. Uh, the low here at 31,791.7 appears to be the temporary low because we have a three-way pullback here. So technically speaking, it may have already bottomed out and getting ready to go much higher. Unless of course the Wall Street itself started to unravel, then they may see a new, a new pattern altogether. Okay. In the Hang Seng itself, we see the Hang Seng actually punched through the first barrier, which I have indicated could be uh, the first barrier to higher prices, which is at 19,422.6, uh, which is represented by this blue line here. Sorry, the, the, the levels is supposed to be 19,449.11. So we can see the price has actually punched beyond that and it looks good for the challenge of 20,156 here, which is the next logical level to challenge. And if we can sustain beyond that, then obviously we will look at something else. But in the meantime, this is seen to be a technical uh, rally here. And at most I will see uh, I'll be a little bit more generous here in the sense that I think this may have a little bit more room to the upside and uh, possibly gunning for 20,900 to somewhere 21,700. So this will be as generous as I can get. Okay. So the thing is that this is seen to be a technical rebound.
in the uh, what well, we can see in the mainland in index itself, we have the Shanghai Composite Index today managing to at least play catch up to the Hang Seng. We have prices coming back uh, uh, to test the most recent high at 3,246 levels. 3247 levels there about and if this pans out it would have a very neat three wave rally to challenge the 3290 to 3315 level so do watch out for an extended run into the uh, 3200 to 3300 levels over in energy market we still see energy prices continue to rally much much higher than i expected prices traded to a high of 77 dollars and 30 cents uh, overnight and uh, we are very near this immediate target here which i think will be somewhere uh, between $78 and $80 and 70 cents. So be very careful chasing much higher than what it is currently trading. And ideally, I want to see is a pullback, ideally between uh, $72 and uh, 40 cents to $73 and 90 cents range, because this would actually allow us to actually for, for the pressure to go off for the market to actually base itself before going higher. So going forward, I do see much higher prices in crude oil prices because we can already know that the $67 to $72 is where the US government is basically replenishing their strategic petroleum reserve. So we have a floor at $72 to $67. So that will be a very solid uh, range of price for the market to hold out because we know that Uncle Sam is buying uh, to replenish their strategic reserve uh, going into the 2024 presidential election. It need to happen before the next election in 2024. So going forward for the balance of this year we can be sure that the uncle sam will be buying crude oil okay so that will be that will be the one supporting the uh, uh, energy markets going forward and in the precious metal market we can see that the market has again rallied to at 1964 dollars there about just under it and uh, you can see that it is struggling a little bit because there is a lot of overhead resistance near the 1970 dollars level so we are getting very very close to those range but i do expect uh continue uh strength in the gold market here although last night uh the gold rally did not go up as much uh, but we can still see that the trajectory is favoring higher prices going forward. Ideally, what we'll like, i like to see will be a, 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 at least a temporary pullback in prices to 1,939 to 1,949 levels. Okay, so this area will be actually quite good to actually accumulate long position. I'm still holding on to my long position, by the way. And uh, at least for the time being, the target is obviously at 1,900. 84 okay so look out for another challenge another maybe 20 dollars more from the overnight high that we are seeing so this could be where the market will be heading next whether it can bridge we will have to see but ideally i want to see the market pull back first before it rally okay over in the silver market we see a lot more robust movement in silver silver is more like a johnny come lately it at first did not rally as much because and it only started to explode on wednesday and extended higher overnight this morning it went up to 24 dollars and 90 cent uh very very close to my initial target at 24 dollars and 92 cents and again ideally i want to see the market pull back a little bit to 24 dollars to 24 dollars and 35 cents for the next leg higher because definitely there will be another move beyond 25 dollars so do look out for a pullback if possible over in currency, we can see that the dollar is practically dying right now and the dollar collapse has been uh, the most severe we have seen so far. Uh, from 104.62, the market may actually go down all the way. He has already gone below uh, my target range of uh, uh, 99.4. Okay, so basically it looks like it may actually has a lot more room downstairs. My new target is $98, no, 98.2 right now. So again, do... Uh, do not chase this market at this current point because it's a little bit hairy now if you have not already sold. So do watch out for further weakness in the dollar, uh, perhaps going into the early part of next week. Okay. In the euro dollar, we can see continued strength in the principal currency against the dollar. We can see euro dollar is at the highest we have ever seen this year at 112. 40 okay and this is smack in between the bracket of prices which i think may actually entice uh the seller to re-emerge that level is 112 10 to 113 even so right now we are smack somewhere in between and this make it very vulnerable to profit taking so do watch out for signs of profit taking in the euro versus the dollar the same thing is happening in the sterling sterling has rallied up to 130 140 this morning and it's again within the bracket of prices again i also feel that the market may actually be susceptible to selling interest here at 13070 to 13185 levels. Do watch out for these levels. 
and in Aussie, Aussie is a lot stronger than expected. So this morning it just went under one uh, 0 0.69. Those, so the 69 cents level may actually be a top for a time being. I do expect market to at least ease off a little bit back to the 68 cent level, ideally between 0 0.6780 to 0. 6825 that area will be good for accumulation of new long position because i think this one has a lot more potential and probably we are looking at something at 70 cent to 71 cents ultimately so do watch out for the eventual uh, rally in the aussie dollars dollar canadian uh, is very much like dollar index itself and uh, finally it broke below the uh, last month low at 131.16 and went up to as low as 130.90 this morning and it is again within the bracket of prices uh, which I think may soon be able to see the bottom very soon in dollar Canadian uh, that level is between 129.75 to 131 so it's a very wide range more like 130 pips so anywhere between this bracket of prices do not sell anymore if you have not already so in fact if we can get a rebound that would be even better if we can get a rebound a rebound from where we are right now to 120 uh, 132 to 120 132.75 that will actually be a much level a uh, much better level to actually engage the market on the short side because this market has a huge potential to the downside ultimately i think the market may actually come from 125 so do watch out for this kind of uh, uh, um, massive collapse in the dollar itself okay and this has all got to do with the cpi numbers that we saw this week because it headline numbers is already at three percent from where we need to get to at two percent is already getting close and a lot of people were saying that okay i think the federal reserve has done its job and um it's time to go easy on interest rate hike and uh who knows maybe they will reverse if the economy go into a tailspin but right now we are not seeing that for now and dollar yen has on has has gone down quite a fair bit uh this morning we have a low at 137.24 and this market right now looks like it's about to rebound okay at the bottom of this 137.24 we see a reversal signal in the sign of a long legged shadow doji and this could cause prices to rebound at least for now uh i hope that it does happen because i want to add on to my short position uh the short uh the the ideal level to position short in my opinion here is somewhere between 139 to 140 20 levels so do watch out for a eventual rebound because this market has not hit its ultimate bottom in my opinion because i would believe if this bottom here 120 137 24 is the bottom for today if we get a rebound another uh another decline below this 137 24 is definitely going to be the logical conclusion in my opinion okay and over in bitcoin although we see massive rally in the other altcoins uh, we saw Solana, we saw Cardano, we saw especially Ripple. Ripple have surged almost 100% overnight on the uh, new on the ruling by the judge presiding over the SEC over Ripple Lab case, uh, in which the the judge uh, has actually ruled that whatever Ripple Labs has offered to the public in terms of tokens, uh, what we're talking about is the Ripple tokens, uh, does not constitute uh, a security offering. So it does not break the US security law. So that news alone is enough to cause the Ripple token to actually rally almost 100% overnight. And uh, in my other recordings, I did give uh, my opinion as to what I think will happen in the Ripple token. But in the Bitcoin itself, we see a rally, but this rally is very disappointing. It did not go much higher than $31,818. And right now, it is looking to be coming off again. So again, the different sentiment and uh, the market right now is coiling, in my opinion, as far as Bitcoin is considered. When you coil, you compress it. So when you release it, the pressure of the release is going to cause Bitcoin to move in a very big way, in my opinion. OK, so I do expect market to actually have a widening uh, a consolidation range earlier on. I did met. I did earlier to the idea that the uh, higher highs uh, is going to be marginal compared to the previous high and the low is also likely to be lower than the previous low. So right now we have a marginal high relative to 31,458 and uh, if the market do pull back here, I do expect this $29,508 to be taken out on uh, marginally before it bounces. So do watch out for the widening range of prices as the market consolidate and compress. Okay, do look out for the eventual explosion in the Bitcoin prices. In the meantime, this is all I have for you. And I wish you guys have a great weekend ahead. And I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.